straight up in the air. Four if you catch her right. Last night she's out sowing the wild oats. This morning she's praying for a crop failure. <laughs> One. The only two can live as cheap as one is a horse and a sparrow. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> Until I am old and gray, the saying will be my philosophy. My philosophy is live every day as if it was your last, because one day you'll be right. <laughs> All you need each day is to hear someone say welcome home. If I come home early, the wife thinks I'm after something. If I come home late, she thinks I've had it. <laughs> has got a figure like a Venus. Pencil. <laughs> she has all the charm of a temporary filling. I'll kick her in the mouth, but why should I improve her looks? <laughs> Just get something else. I've heard of girls who walk home from rides. She rides home from walks. Last night she came, came home, been out driving with the producer, came on one muddy shoe. I said, how come you got one muddy shoe? She said, I changed my mind. <laughs> it's a very simple story that I tell, and it's half as old as time. Once upon a time, there were two Chinamen. Now look how many. <laughs> of a romance of a boy and girl And whispered words that mean I love you I said to the wife, go out and see if it's raining. She says, call the dog in and see if it's wet. <laughs> Not even in my wildest dreams Could I imagine that we'll ever part You know who's got no imagination? The parents of Ephraim Zimbalus Jr. with two lumps, the wife and her mother. <laughs> Let me tell you something, if you have a row with your wife at breakfast time, settle it by using psychology. Smack her in her mouth with half a grapefruit. <laughs> Not only will it settle the argument, but you'll be given her vitamin C as well. <laughs> oh God, this kid comes from Spain. She came across with 50 sailors before she left. 